morning. <laughs> Hashtag yes, I did wake up like this. I thought that I would start doing maybe like some little vlog type things where I do sort of more disability side of things, which is kind of, whoops, <laughs> kind of like the whole reason why I set up Wheels No Heels. So we'll see how it goes. So today I have just dropped my daughter off at school. I've just got back. It's 10 to 9 and I thought I would do sort of like a disability friendly get ready with me. So I'm going to show you a really easy everyday makeup tutorial. I'm going to show you some really easy hairstyles that aren't going to um, take too much time or too much effort. Um, and if you are in pain, like sometimes I am, they should be okay for you. And I thought I would show you some of my outfit choices and maybe some other little bits and bobs along the way. So, so when I get back in, I usually uh, feed the animals and then sort of between 9 and 10, I tidy up the house um, and do some exercises. Um, I usually do like a few weights and things like that to keep me strong fit. But recently I have started dancing. Um, I started following Chelsea Hill and I'll leave a link to her channel down below if you're interested. And what she does is she does um, tutorials on how to wheelchair dance. Um, and yeah, it's good fun. So um, I'm trying to learn one of her tutorials at the moment. You may have seen me have a go on my Insta story the other day, but um, I really enjoy it. Um, and also I feel as well that it uplifts my mood um, and makes me feel happier as well. So it's a great thing to try if you're not feeling that great. Super dumb. about 15 minutes of that I haven't learned the whole lot and it's like not perfect or anything but yeah it's good fun and it's definitely got my heart rate going as well so now I'm gonna have a cup of tea no actually I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and some brekkie okay so I've had um, a coffee and a crumpet for my breakfast and now I'm gonna do my makeup <laughs> um, this is not going to be Nikki tutorials. I do find that if I'm feeling really, really rubbish and I'm having a bad day, if I put a little bit of makeup on, it does make me feel ever so slightly better. I'm going to use the Le Blanc de Chanel. This is great for hiding the dark circles, which I suffer from, especially when I am in pain. L'Oreal do a cheaper version of this. What I'm gonna be using is um, a Chanel concealer. So I just put that over the top of the Blanc Chanel. Yeah, look, even now, that is a little bit better. Another thing I like to do to brighten up the eyes is use this um, La Crayon Cole, a Cole eye pencil, um, a Chanel one. This is in the color Claire, and it's a um, creamy one. and put it under my waterline. So by putting this along the waterline it really helps brighten up the eyes, especially when they look so tired. Some mascara. This is MAC Extended Play. I've used it for years. You know what they say, once you go MAC, you won't go back. We don't need to talk about eyebrows. But anyway, this is what I use for my eyebrows to just brush them with a spoolie and then I used Cabral and then I just sort of lightly stroke little hairs in there as if we're microblading. Then I use MAC Studio Fix 
pressed foundation which has been dropped and I just powdered my nose oops all the bits are going everywhere so by adding the powder it just helps even out your skin tone but really quickly and really effortlessly as well if you're in pain um, I'll just show you this is the foundation that I use when I'm filming only wear it when I'm filming but it's really really good it's nice and dewy it's rimmel long lasting finish 25 hours with comfort serum but yeah I find it takes a long time to apply and repetitive motions can um, pull my muscles and make me feel a bit sore and then for my lips I use this really I, I love this I got this for Christmas it's boots number seven and it's just like a, a tinted lip balm I like my lips to be glossy I don't like matte um and it's so easy like all you, know, you do is just put it on like and so easy to wear it's really really comfortable to wear as well it's not drying or anything like that but it adds a bit of color and a bit of shine oh, look I've got hair on me on my brush my brush is molting oh my hair um so yeah I haven't brushed it or anything today so far sometimes I don't brush it at all and it gives it sort of a nice break I'm going to show you a few hairstyles that you can do that aren't going to cause much pain or take much time. I do find doing braided updos and things like that can really hurt my back. Um, I did the Wonder Woman Infinity Braid over on my Instagram and oh, the next day my neck and back was so sore and if I do um, boxer braids and French braids and things like that I can be really sore the next day. So bearing all that in mind I want to do something that's really easy for you. Um, I'm going to do a couple of hairstyles that I can just think of off the top of my head. If you're not having the best day I do find that braids to the side are the best and uh, one braid I'm going to show you is um, just a regular three strand braid but just to give it like a little bit of something different what you can do is just twist the hair away from your face and as you're twisting gather up hair as you're going down and then once you get to the bottom here, you can pull all the hair together, just give it one final twist and then split it into three and then just do a regular three strand braid. before I tie it off I'm just going to pancake it by tugging on the outsides of the sections so there's one style and then just pull a few bits from around the side opposite side as well just to frame your face you've got a nice braid and that took no time at all and no real effort. Another one that's really nice on the side as well and really really easy to do is a rope braid so you can do the same again by twisting if you wanted to um, and then to rope braid what you simply do is you twist one way so I am twisting to the left two sections so we're twisting to the left that way both of the sections but then we're going to cross them over to the right okay. twist and cross twist and cross I just tied it off with a clear elastic and there you have a rope braid and again pull the bits out 
and then you can also pull out the sections as well to make it more boho you a couple of things that I like to do if I'm feeling a bit down or having a bad day a couple of things that I like to do um, after I've done my makeup um, is paint my nails when your nails are done I always find it makes you feel a bit better I personally find that anyway so I've been really loving this color who's it by no idea I think this is Rimmel um, my summery colour because I'll be going on holiday soon which reminds me so if you really did enjoy this vlog do let me know because I would like to do more and my next one is I was thinking of doing um, a holiday one and how I travel and what it's like to travel with a disability um, and things like that so let me know because I'm off to Spain next Saturday so yeah, that's going to be really cool and I'm going to do some summer hairstyles as well. But going from A to Z, <laughs> the other thing I like to do is colouring. So, excuse the washing, it is clean. Um, but yeah, I like to do colouring, that's my daughter's colouring book there, because it's a really nice thing that we can do together. But yeah, this is one of those adult um, colouring books, Colour Me Calm, which I really um, enjoy to do. Um, so that, that's a really nice little activity which I find helps channel my creative energies and I also like to draw cartoons as well, here's one I've just started um, but yeah, my daughter and I, it's a really nice thing as I said, to do together so I think that is it for the morning so yeah, I'm going to edit this vlog, see how, that, how it's panned out, what it's like and yeah, do let me know what you think of this and what you want to see next. Um, I do have, I am going back to the normal tutorials as well. Um, so don't worry about that. I have got so much planned. I have a massive list. Um, as you know, I took a bit of a break, which has really, really helped. And yeah, hopefully lots more exciting new things on the way. Thank you so much for watching and obviously subscribe for more. My arm's aching now. <laughs>